Okay, these questions seem really, really fun. So, if you were trapped in a room with your least favourite character in Harry Potter, who would that character be? Oh, Umbridge. I hate her. I hate her with a passion and I don't hate anybody, but I absolutely despise her. I don't think she'd even last in a room with me and I'm not a violent person, but I feel very, very angry towards her. So, yeah, Umbridge and I might kill her, whether with a pen or just, I don't know. I don't feel very violent towards a lot of people, but I'm very violent towards her. Uh, my Hogwarts house? Slytherin! Although I am half Hufflepuff as well, but uh, Pottermore sorted me into Slytherin. And a comprehensive test is still Slytherin, but very, very close behind is Hufflepuff. My favorite number is the number one. Very, very boring. It used to be number nine, which is my birthday day, but it's number one because on the first you get to reset and I kind of love that. So when it's the first of a month, you can start a new page and you can start a new diary and it's just a fantastic number. My horoscope is Cancer, so I'm a Cancerian. I'm very emotional and I'm a crab, which is always fun. What would your Patronus be? Pottermore says it's a ragdoll cat, which when I've researched it sounds very, very like me, so I'm going to pick a ragdoll cat. While I have a dog, I absolutely love cats as well, and especially ragdoll cats. They're so adorable, so yeah. Uh, what would your boggart be? Oh, I'm torn between two answers. One's very, very personal and one's not so bad. Um, I'm terrified of the dark, but with heights. It's is. I'm, I'm terrified with like confined spaces which make it dark so like alleyways and little narrow streets I'm very very scared about walking down um, and then heights within that so if you put darks and heights within the same thing but I think that would be really hard to do as a boggart but my other answer is someone in my life which is really sad but I feel like that person would be the person that would come out and that kind of scares me a little bit they say there are two types of writers, planners and explorers. Which one are you? I feel like I've talked to Amy about this before. Um, I do plan, but I don't plan the middle of any of my work. I only plan the beginning and the end. I plan the beginning, but I have to have an end because I have to have something to work towards in my head. So my ending is always decided way before I start writing the rest of the piece. But the abyss was planned. Every single chapter was planned. It was because it was so personal I wanted to make sure I got everything out. So I feel like it depends on the story, but I want to say I'm more of an explorer. I like to explore how things go off, but I will always make sure that it's the ending that I had in my head. Describe yourself in one word. Unique. Hogwarts is on fire, and what's the one thing you take with you while fleeing the castle? Well, if I'm at Hogwarts, and I can't take my mobile because my mobile wouldn't work, just absolutely. I love my mobile because of the stuff that's on my mobile, not just because I, I like socially connecting, even though I do love that as well. But I would probably take, because um, I take this everywhere, is a small, um, kind of pocket size, but a little bit bigger, it fits in my handbag. A copy of no I'm gonna change my answer I'm gonna take the philosophers no I'm not I don't know what would I take because I wouldn't have I wouldn't have the Harry Potter books at Hogwarts because I it's there and it's real oh, this is such a difficult question um I would take if I've got a familiar I'd look after my pet I'm hoping it would be Cheddar I'm hoping that the year that I got to go that they'll allow you to take dogs as long as it's sort of trained, even though Cheddar isn't. But I'm hoping that they would bypass that and let me take Cheddar and then I would rescue Cheddar. But if it's got to be like a physical thing that isn't an animal, then I would probably take my favourite school book because I do have them. And it would probably be very similar to Hermione. I don't know if she'd take this, but Hogwarts are history because I'm fascinated by history. But I think I would take that. And that was the final question. And I just want to thank you all for listening to me and putting up with me and all my ums and my... Oh god, that's a really difficult question because I should have read them beforehand. 
Um, but I hope you've enjoyed this and a massive thank you to the admins and to all the people that read and follow me and just, just support me as well. Like, I wouldn't be here and I wouldn't be doing this without all of you. And I just adore you all so much. And thank you. Bye.